I really like uh, the, the phrase work like tomorrow. You don't have to look like miles ahead. Uh, just look at tomorrow. Just look at the near future and make it happen. My name is Steven van Uffelen. I've been working in the operations department at Rabobank for over 14 years now. And approximately five years ago, I met my IT lead uh, Bart Grunewald. And together we have uh, started the Robotics Center of Excellence and uh, still doing that with a lot of pleasure and a lot of success. Rabobank is a big cooperative bank in the Netherlands and has actually uh, two main goals. The first one is to be the number one bank for our customers in the Netherlands. And the second one is to be the best agricultural bank on a global base. At Rabobank, we always say growing a better world together. And I really and truly believe in that saying because we really try to help our customers, but also the world to be a little bit better every day. And that's also what we're aiming for with our robotics team. It's really important that our employees can focus themselves on the work they really need to do. They very often are doing manual repetitive work, um, which isn't contributing anything to the real customer value. We want to make the employee more valuable for the company, but also for our customers. And in that way, we have a double success. Five years ago, my uh, IT lead mentioned to me, Kofax RPA, Robotic Process Automation. There was already a, a, a history between Rabobank and Kofax, and that relation helped us uh, getting started and eventually also uh, making it bigger. For us, it's really important to use citizen developers in our approach. The most important thing is that we really believe in our own people. And when you believe in your own people and give them the tools that they need, you will be surprised of how much results they can really achieve. And that's the biggest point why we, in my opinion, are very successful in our approach, using citizen developers and therefore addressing the responsibility much deeper into the business organization than we used to do with regular IT. That really means that as a robotic center of excellence, we've got to facilitate to the maximum to help them build their robots. You've got to provide them a good framework, deploying robots to production, but also having key controls on your risk uh, in place to make sure that all robots running in production are running in a decent way. So you've got to help them with uh, more IT skills to let them build their own robots. As a center of excellence, facilitating engineers who are building the robots in their business. We really focus on creating value instead of a negative way of positioning robotics in the organization. And that really helped us in creating more business and even more results. As of February 2020, we have uh, measured almost 1.9 million hours of business value. This year, in 2021, we have already reached over 500,000 hours of business value. So that's really an awesome result. Part of the creativity of a lot of people in my team becoming robotics engineers was that there were business experts that really had a feeling in selling the story. For instance, robotics engineers um, uh, gave their virtual employees a name. One I really like to share is around our mortgages. When a client uh, is talking with the bank about the mortgage. The process takes about 30 days. The old process was that our customer didn't receive one single moment of contact about the current state. And our clients were calling, which takes a lot of time for our client desk, but also an unhappy customer. So with the robot, we divided that 30 days into five different phases. And after each phase, we proactively send an, uh, an email or a WhatsApp message to our customer. The client wasn't calling to the client desk anymore. And afterwards, he evaluated with a much higher rating than they used to do. So we made a better process and we had a happier customer. We've got also a lot of big, solid robots currently running, which also makes me very proud. The KYC robot, which helps our analysts with the tremendous amount of time normally done by hand, now uh, done by a robot. We are currently very busy with the transition to the cloud, which gives us way much more possibilities to even get more results. So the combination of working together to do that with, with Kovacs is really important. The world is changing constantly and rapidly. 
and to be ready for the future, we really got to find new ways of innovation. We can help our clients more and more with our current robotics initiatives. I'm convinced that, uh, that there are a lot of companies who haven't seen the potential yet. And that's also one of my dreams, helping other companies with, for instance, a robotics as a service. I'm really convinced that there is a lot of potential with the technologies of the near future.